Hey guys, it's General Heed here. How is everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be tackling the question of Can you save all the Marines on the Mission 343 Guilty Spark? More specifically, during this mission, you'll come to a part after the, uh, the whole Jenkins camera scene where you gotta escape. You need to go down like a second set of elevators to a lower level. And once you get to the bottom, you will enter a room where you will see three Marines being attacked by the Flood. And unfortunately, uh, in most cases, they don't survive. So these Marines I'm talking about are right here. They, uh, yeah, as you can see, one of them already died, and then the other died right there, and then the first one has actually died before he even jumped down. So, yeah, these Marines, they have, like, very, very low health. They are almost one shot, and they are very, very difficult to save. But we attempted to save them, and it took a lot of tries. You see, the problem with saving them is, like I said, one, they have very, very low health, and two, the entire room is like swarming with uh, flood combat forms, and it's pretty much raining flood infection forms. So, once an infection form latches onto a marine, they're pretty much screwed. It's it's over, because you can't get them off in Halo 1. It's not like Halo 2 or 3 where you can shoot an infection form off. And even if you could, they, like I said, they have very low health. So we basically have to be really quick, and this is best done on co-op. I don't even know like if you could do this on solo. It's there's so many enemies. You like even like just two people, it's hard enough to like manage all these enemies. Really, you need like four players, but Halo One only supports two-player co-op. So you and another player basically need to um, kill every like enemy you can, and be careful not to shoot the Marines as well because they have very low health. Uh, you gotta take out all the infection forms. Actually, it's, I think the infection forms are the deadliest. So you gotta like really focus on them. Like toss grenades at like the right areas so that you can blow them all up at the same time without killing the marines. And then the third challenge is that sometimes the marines are pretty uh, well dumb. Like here in this case, they <laughs> they shot each other. <laughs> um, so we had to like. We, we were lucky had a checkpoint here, so we had to quickly revert and then like push the marines a little bit or at least get in their way So that they don't end up shooting each other by accident <laughs> But yeah after like Hours of trying we finally uh, Saved all three marines. It, it's not too hard to save like at least one marine, but We don't we, we don't like you know Do things halfway here. We go all the way and we save all three marines and there you have it guys, we have saved all three and we've pretty much cleared all the enemies in the room. They do stop spawning eventually, fortunately. So once that's all taken care of, then yeah, you've saved all three marines. Uh, so once you've saved them, they, well, that's basically it. They uh, just keep running around in like a, I think they're like scripted to run around like a certain path, like in circles or something, and then back to the initial position. What's interesting is that they also say some pretty uh, funny dialogue every now and then. And I happen to be playing in a different language at the time, I believe uh, Chinese, and they say some pretty funny things in that. I'll let you guys listen to it. Alright, so roughly translated, what they said was, uh, in this order they said, the first one said, uh, oh, you know, we can't, we can't uh, handle them, we can't take them on. And then the second one says, oh, I'm not even married yet. And the third one says, we gotta get out of here. Uh, so that second one is kind of funny, actually, because uh, apparently in the English version at the same time, they see different stuff. So yeah, as you heard there, um, they, yeah, the, the translation's not, uh, accurate so to speak uh i mean in it's roughly the same context but it, it's just kind of funny how like one of the marines says like oh i'm not even married yet uh which is like completely different from what the second marine says in the english version uh, but anyway it's just a little fun thing i want to point it out there uh so anyways back to uh the marines that we saved so unfortunately once we've saved them they they just stay there the entire time, running around in circles, saying uh, different random lines of dialogue over and over again. Uh, so even if you move on ahead to the mission, they will not follow you. They stay back there and just keep running in circles. Um, and in English and other languages too, they'll they'll keep saying like, "Oh, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here." But they they don't get out of there. <laughs> they just stay there. 
Um, and that's mostly because it's not that they're scripted to die, but they were put in a... They're scripted like not to leave, essentially, because they're they're expected to be dead at this point. With all... They have such low health and there's so many flood in the room, they their chances of survival were supposed to be zero. So that's why the game didn't account for them still being alive, and therefore they have no... The AIs aren't, you know, scripted to go any further than this. And unfortunately, because this is Halo 1, we can't push them. Um, they, You can't push objects by walking into them in Halo 1. That only ha started with Halo 2. So we cannot push them all the way to the end of the mission either. So they're pretty much stuck there. And, I mean, we saved them, yeah, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> just, we can't bring them with us. But we did clear all the enemies in the base, so I guess they're fine. <laughs> they're just going to be camping out there for a while. <laughs> But yeah, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, as always, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave your thoughts and comments, anything else you want me to check out or look into, feel free to let me know, and I'll do my best to get around to it when I can. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!